What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. We have a simulation from uh, another one from Sam Samurai. And uh, the stipulation is draft me some jank counters. Drank me some, draft me with some more jank counters, please. I want to be here to get them. So, looking for counters. I think uh, no counters in this pack. So, we're going to just take a control magic. Mic, audio out? What? Pretty sure audio is good. It's probably you, buddy. Kiora counters damage. That's, I guess, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, no counters. I'm just gonna take this control magic. So I'm taking it. What? What if this mana tithe comes back? We're definitely taking Jace. Jace is gonna help us actually win this draft. A bit quiet. What in the earth? Should I raise the gain? Oh, God, I don't feel like I should, but... Here, let me know if that's any better. I raised the gain a little bit. I don't like it, but... Yeah, we're taking Jace. Jace does have loyalty counters. We're not going to do that, though. Uh, there was already five-color five, five color good stuff. Yes, Taunus came in after Samurai, so I don't want to... I already told Samurai because he was here. He's like, while I'm here, I'll get you to do another step. So I was like, okay, cool, so I did that, but... Yeah, don't worry. I, I got it. Durzo, I got it under control, buddy. Tonus, this might be my last one tonight, so let me know what day works for you, and I will 100% stip it up for you whenever you, whenever you, whenever you like. So, <clears throat> we did see a... Mana Tithe, which could come back, which would be great. What's going on, Bobby Miser? <clears throat> um, which means we can take Colonnade and be blue-white, or we can take Signet. I think it's just Colonnade. Colonnade's very strong. I also want to... <clears throat> I'm not going to branch out into Leovold yet. When was the last time you ever did a step I donated to the day? That's, I mean, like, it's rare for anyone, though, just because I do have... Uh, currently, I have a Q. Trust me, it's not it's not common. Uh, all right, no counters so far. I'm getting a little. Frost Titan's good. Leshnorn's good. Lantex good. Leovold <laughs> counters. You guys are misunderstanding the stipulation. Stop it. I think it's just Frost Titan here. Could be Marsh Flats. I don't actually know. Frost Titan. Frost Titan actually counters spells that target him. No, you, sir, are misunderstanding. Maybe that's true. Oh, God. What if I am? Uh, oh, Baral actually interacts quite favorably with uh, counter spells. I also like Brightling a lot, but I don't think we need to really commit to a Brightling. I could take Misty Rainforest, but... <clears throat> mm, Angerbag Walker gets counters. Actually, Brawl. Brawl's got to be the pick, right? Because if we're countering things, Brawl seems great. We can go turn three Brawl into turn four Cryptic Command. <sighs> steam Vents. I don't hate a Steam Vents here. We could also just take Kiki Jiki. Flint and Gobble. There's no counters. Like, where are all the counters? I feel like this cube actually took a bunch of the counters out of the deck. Yeah, we're taking Kiki Jiki here. Kikums, McJikums, Chain Lightning. Oh, Electromancer's also good. So then I have Baral and Electromancer. I think Chain Lightning's probably better. I mean, we're definitely taking... Um, actually, Lingering Souls. 
Lingering Souls could be good if the Mana Tithe comes back. If it's in the pack, you must take it. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Arid Mesa. Ooh, that's nice. Burst Lightning Manic Vandal are fine, but I'd rather just have the Arid Mesa, especially if we are going to play this monstrosity. Banishing Light's also good. So is Repeal, though. Mm, bruh. Yeah, we used to have, like, Disallow, Dissolve, Force Spike. Really impressed with this? I've played it, and I've played against it, and it never really seemed to do anything. I'm going to take this. Firebolt. Banisher Priest. I don't think the Mana Tithe came back. Seething Song could be good for Kiki Jiki. Just real easy to... That also costs one less. Oh, Spire Bluff Canal. Okay. Ah, uh, Sword of Fire Nice, though. Ooh, dang. Go with Spire Bluff Canal. I think mana's a little more important here. Eh, incinerate. So we're definitely blue. <laughs> uh, P is better. I actually like the the blue red deck a lot. Wow, that's a great. That was a great sign. Here we are. I'm pretty sure it was probably. Actually, I don't even know. I guess I can check here. I have my little list. Uh oh, saber, 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 radi 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 Gifted you a sub. It was about two hours ago. Ending count. Oh, spell pierce. All right. Is that the best counter in this pack? I think it's the only counter in this pack. So, yes. We are taking a spell pierce. Also, no combo pieces or anything, so that's okay. Through the breach would be nice, but we don't have anything breachy yet, so... Dak Faden, and we're already in red blue. <whistles> also, Karn Liberated. No counters, right? Just making sure. Yeah, we'll Dak Faden. He's the best thief in the multiverse, guys. Uh, no counters again. No counters again. Tarpit, don't care. Smuggler's Copter could be good, especially with Baral and Electromancer. <clears throat> I also, I, I do like Rekindling Phoenix a lot. This deck is not going to have a lot of creatures, but like with PNLR and like, I don't know. Smaller Scopter could make the cut. Let's... Yeah, let's just take Phoenix. I think Phoenix is strong. I do like a Ponder. Samurai, I'm so sorry that there's no... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry that there's no... There's not enough... Not a lot of counters here. We have one counter, one counter so far. I like Duretti, but I don't think this is a Duretti deck. We have zero artifacts. That's a good reason it's not a Duretti deck. Let's just take the Ponder. Days. All right. Days is a counter. Two counters. Have you ever tracked this so bad that when you log back into Magic to play the games, you want to punch yourself for what you did to yourself in the past? <laughs> it's never been that bad. Oh, Jay Spellerin. All right. We're getting a lot of hits here, which is nice. <clears throat> Pestermite. Uh, I hear that's good with Kiki Jiki, so I'm going to take it. And no counters. Nailed it. Even if you had to take that tithe, it wouldn't be enough to stay in white. Yeah, like, I mean, what did we take over tithe? Was it Jace? It was Jace the Mind Sculptor, right? So I don't even think that's. <sighs> this deck actually looks pretty good so far. 
I can see Flame Tongue being the sideboard for now. Seething Song is probably iffy. <clears throat> Flame Slash is good, but not good enough to make the main deck yet. And I'm also iffy on Firebolt. But all these are still playable. I just want to leave ourselves at the bare minimum. Jace is the grand kid of power. I consider Jace like second or third tier power. Which I think there's always an exception for with stipulations. I think it's implied unless they uh, unless it's specifically specified. Because like you don't want to pass if there is some like a mana tithe in the pack or like a daze. You don't really want to pass a Lotus or a, an Oncolor Mox or Ancestral Recall for one of those cards. Because that's the whole reason you draft the, the Vintage Cube. <clears throat> through the breach I don't think it's Talarian Academy which is weird because we just have no artifacts I'll just think through the breach because it's pretty strong it also lets us put Kiki Jiki into play uh, if we don't have triple red which is not bad Pyretic Ritual it's like they really want us to draft Storm here with Seething Song Pyretic Ritual why have you not taken all the power? What does that mean? I've taken all the power that I can take. I don't care about Monastery Swift Spear at all. Like, we're not a Monastery Swift Spear deck. I'd rather have Sweltering Suns because it's just very good against certain archetypes. Mm, now we'll try the Doretti, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty met on Storm as well. Orzhov Signet or Magus of the Moon? I don't think it's Magus of the Moon. Maybe it is. Actually, Magus could just shut down some decks. Sure. <clears throat> I mean, Doretti still says draw two, discard two, draw two. It's still totally fine. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... Wow, all the rituals. Seething Song, Desperate, and Pyretic Ritual. Literal Mono Rituals. And Counterspell. Exactly what we want to hit. That's pretty good. You should always take more power than that which is available. That's actually a good strategy. Magus of your mom? It's aggressive. Mana leak. We're doing it. We're doing it. Did you guys see all these counters I got? Now we're up to four counters, I believe. Spell Pierce, Daze, Counter Spell, Mana leak. Give me that Mystic Confluence. Venser's kind of a counter. <sighs> Blightsteel Colossus sucks because it can't go to the graveyard. <clears throat> so, like, you can't actually Doretti it. Ulamog is reasonable, but only with Through the Breach. I don't think we have any way to put it into play otherwise. Venser is kind of like a counter, though, which is kind of nice. I think it's actually... <clears throat> I just don't think I care about Breach. I, I, Breach. I think it's actually Venser. I don't think I want either of these in my deck just to have them in the deck. <clears throat> Why is my throat getting all scratchy? Disallow. All right, so we're literally just hitting all the counters now. That's pretty sweet. This pack was where we wanted to, where we wanted to see. Splinter Twin would be great. Yikes. Chandra is very good. Tezzeret, not so much. Um, I think it's definitely one of these Chandras. Did we pass a sensor yet? I don't think we saw a sensor. Which is the better Chandra here? I actually kind of like this Chandra. Dang. So we have black red land needle spires i kind of want a blue i want a blue land so that i can a blue white or a blue a blue white land so i can search for it with the arid mesa unfortunately there's not one here i guess needle spires in case we hit something shrine is also just fine shackles could be good actually we'll just take the shackles how many counters do it man i want to I, I, I always consider vencer vencer a counter because it basically does the same as remand 
Six-ish counters is pretty good. <clears throat> Every time someone plays Nexus of Fate against us, I always feel like it's pretty impressive. However, having Deceiver Exarch with your Kiki Jiki is probably where you want to be, I get I think. Preordain. Wheel of Fortune and Eidolon. Eh. Kind of meh. Wow, that's a late Minds of Desire. That I'll take. I'll board into the Storm deck. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Shackles? Shackles. It's a shackle. Yeah, actually, that's that. And every time I say shackles, that's what gets in my mind. That Family Guy skit. Pretty sure we're taking through the Breach out. It's not. We're not a through the Breach deck. Everything else seems great, though, unfortunately. We can probably take one of these two out. I like Preordain better than Ponder. This is a pretty solid 23. I wish we had more fixing lands, but I think we'll be all right. Imperial Recruiter seems great for us. Yay. It actually gets Kiki Jiki, Deceiver, Exarch, and uh, Pestermite. Metamorphose is tempting because we actually have three rituals. Now we have three rituals and Metamorphose and Mind's Desire. <coughs> I have to cut one thing here. Hmm. This deck seems great. I think it's actually Goblin Electromancer. It's worse than Baral, and we actually don't have that many things to take advantage of it. Basically, the cards that take advantage of Electromancer's Instance and Sorcery's Claws are... Disallow. Days. And Mana Leak. Those three cards. Or at least Baral lets you uh, lets you loot every time you counter something. And it's a 1-3, so. Like, the, the... The Storm deck that we actually almost have in the sideboard is pretty hilarious. We have Desperate Ritual, Seething Song, Mana Morphos, Mind's Desire, Gush, Pyretic Ritual, and Goblin Electromancer. That is a lot of... And Empty the Warrens. We also have Empty the Warrens, in case you guys didn't know. And a Pyroclasm. Eh, actually, not bad. This deck actually seems great. I'm wondering if Flame Tongue Kavu is better than Rekindling Phoenix. I don't think so, but... Like we have a lot of cheap cards that we can play, especially with especially with uh, both Baral and Electromancer, because it makes all of our rituals cheaper. Seething Song costs two, adds four. No, it costs this year netting netting three instead of two. Ritual would cost one. I am probably gonna save. That's a great 03 deck. You're right. You're right. Sad thing is we also had Time Twister that we passed. Let's add this. I don't think we're playing Arid Mesa. It's just going to literally get us a... Let's 10-6. Which is actually ten seven and the only double red. Let's this is this is ten eight. I like ten eight better. So I'm gonna save this as twin. And then we're gonna add a new one. Save and continue. And we're gonna call it storm. Actually, can we make a copy of this? Is that easier? Um open a new copy of the deck and rename as Cool. All right. <clears throat> so, for the Storm version, we can take out Frosty, take out Kiki Jiki, bring in Gush. Empty the Warrens. Shackles can go. Pia can go. Jace can 
stay because it's going to draw us cards. Disallow Pester Mites to Rex Arc. These can go. Bring in Soothing Song. Chain Lightning's cheap. So is Firebolt. Days. Incinerate. Bring in Ritual. Ritual. Electromancer. Ponder. <coughs> And Manamorphos. Is this any good? Is this. Imperial Recruiter sucks in this version of the deck, so we can probably bring in. Probably the days would just stay here if we played this version of the deck. Uh, we have a Ponder on the board because we have no. No real, like. There's nothing else I want to cut. We have to play all the counters because we're, it's, a, it's a Gotham stipulation. So these are pretty much uncuttable. Don't want to cut Incinerator Chain Lightning because we don't have that much removal. Shackles is great. Dak P is good because we don't have that many bodies. This deck has been brought to you by Keekums McGeekums, attorney at law. Don't get deceiver exarched by medical insurance companies. We'll pestermite them until you get your money. <clears throat> I agree with the storm deck not having enough payoff. I think that's true. The twin deck, the twin version seems great though. All right, let's play this. You know what? I'll keep it because of the shackles. <clears throat> shackles? Shackles. Is it a shackle? You have to play the storm version at least one game. Oh, we can see what we can do. I feel like if we're way ahead, we don't have a really reason not to, just for funsies. Ponder over Phoenix. I don't like that because like my only concern is that we don't have that many creatures and Phoenix is a pretty good threat. Um I do think Ponder's good. I'd love to put a I'd love to have a place for it in the deck. I, I bet we can find something. Oh, a Mana Vault. Well, that's very good. Whose idea was it to print Mana Vault? They're like, hey, what if we make a one mana artifact that adds three mana? Probably the same guy that designed Soul Ring. Yep. It's a lot of mana. A lot of mana. Using Mana Vault to play Warm Power Stones. Kind of iffy. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't want to cut Chain Lightning because, like, we don't like we don't have that many removal spells. <clears throat> like, we have basically Chain Lightning and Incinerate. I guess we have counters, though. Maybe that's an option. I think we're definitely countering this dude, right? Like, we have answers for any creatures, so I don't really want you to deretty yourself into some sweet cards. <laughs> Can't let them have deretti. Mom's spaghetti. You know how it goes.
Lotus Patal. Regrowth? Regrowth of Duretti? Channel. <laughs> Yo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're having a good time. Kozilek is okay. Any of the Ulamogs are not. Koldotha Forge Master is also fine. That is not a thing I care about whatsoever. I definitely don't want you to untap and activate this dude. But maybe that would have been fine. You sack three, three things. But the, the problem is they could do it at the end of their turn, so we don't actually get a chance to activate. Sure. Their deck seems cute. <laughs> I'm just going to take this guy, too. I'm just going to beat you to death with your own idiots. Channel into Kaldotha Forge Master seems suspect. And also, Warn Mana Vault into Warn Power Stone seems suspect. Thank you. Helix Salt, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Smokestack. Um, no, I'm good. That player sacrifices for a soot counter. Well, butter my biscuits. Play this guy. We'll play a Baral here. They're already at 10. This Forge Master has only killed them between between the five 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 life they lost channeling it into play, and the. Uh... Uh, I don't care about tapping it before I draw. Like we have three, four, five, six damage on board. They're at six. Is this a May ability? Uh, you, you may put a... Oh, so they just didn't put a counter on it? <laughs> okay, that'll do. That'll do. Do you ever still frequent Kitchen Table? What is Kitchen Table? Um... God, I would kill for a... What do you call it? For a Manic Vandal here. Artifact. Uh, kitchen Table Games, yeah, that's insane, Pete. I've actually never been to Kitchen Table Games. Um, I have been to... I go to Short Stops. Whenever I play Paper Magic, I usually do go to Short Stops, but I don't play that much Paper Magic. What's your favorite moment in the office? I just watched the top ten. That's what she said and got to, got to say love to everyone. Um, favorite moment in the office? Oh, God, that's hard. There's like nine seasons. God, I love that show. I'm on Extraordinary Tilt right now. I need some help getting out of it. Any tips? Any tips? Stop playing right now. Stop playing Magic right now and go do something else for a little bit. 
something that's enjoyable uh, where there is no opportunity for failure, like watching a favorite TV show or watching a favorite movie. I think we're just going to submit like this. I don't think we're actually in a situation where we have to like deal with anything. Oh, wow. Deck Faden is like friggin' amazing against this deck. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to kill this dude immediately. Thank you. Oh, Mouse is acting up again. Tonos with the gift sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Good, good guy, Tonos. Like you do. So, can we steal this next turn? Yes, we can. Also, we have plenty of lands to discard a deck, Faden, which is nice. Now I need to light things on fire with my 151. <laughs> um, sure. I'm pretty sure we have to steal the smokestack here just because. I don't want them in control of smokestack here. That seems pretty scary. Hmm. Good deal. All right, so I'll put this on the bottom. I don't think we ever want to put a counter on this. Like, it just doesn't feel good. Oh, that's nice. Ch -ch -ch Chundra. An island? Great. No ramp? What does that mean? Oh yeah, we can yeah, well, we can do that now too, so I'm not really super It's not free right now, like I mean, we still have to sack something other than the smokestack. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. Did they channel to do that? Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> Heart I bought because of friend. Yeah, you. I think I think that was a good purchase for you, buddy. I think that was a good purchase. I have no regrets about making you buy that. Yep, they did it right. So they make me sack Chandra, which is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, you can definitely sack. That's the that's literally the trick of smokestack. Oh, they play island, play Jace, and then mana leak my Jace. Fantastic. Wow. Some wow. This is like the luckiest you could have ever gotten. Oh, I'm cringing so hard right now. Make sure you retain priority. It's not me. I'm not doing it right now. They mind slavered me. I'm not in control of my turn. They have no cards in hand, though. And we have a 3-3, three, three, and they're at 9, so... I guess maybe that's fine. We also have a smokestack where we can put like two counters on it and just start eating their permanence while we win with this beast. Well, let's see what you top decked, I guess. Don't kill this beast. It's my only hope. Okay, well... Factor Fiction. 
Seems good. Uh, I want to give you that and this. I think. So we're going to put two counters on this. So the next turn you're going to have three. And then you can land this if you take this pile. But you can't actually play these. Yeah, we're going to arrange it expensive cards and cheap cards. So what do they get? Forest, Forest, Signet? Okay. That's good. Now they're dead for sure, right? So we, we know they have Forest and Signet, right? Forest, Simic, Signet. Yep, that'll do. All right, we did it. We did it. Man, even though, even through that really good mind, that really good mind, edit deck twin. I like that. Even through that really great mind slaver where they make us sacrifice our Chandra, they play Jason, they counter our Jace. They basically three for one us and get rid of a permanent from the board. Dak Faden is still the greatest thief in the multiverse. I will play first. I will keep this. That's true. It was not as painful as hitting myself in the face with a hammer, which is actually quite painful. Frosty tea. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to counter that thing. And they have to discard. What a knight's whisper there. This is where they discard like Ulamog 10 or Forest. Nice. If they play a creature, we're good. If they play a spell, we will probably not be terrified of it. Oof. Actually, I think we just pass here. I don't want to play Dak because I don't really want to get rid of anything. I guess we can actually discard Chain Lightning. And Island. Oh, Dak lets us draw first, which is nice. Because he's not solely red. That blue component makes him... Uh... They didn't miss a land drop. It's turn four. It looked like they did because they had double swamp, but... Uh... <laughs> do we just let this resolve? We have so many good answers for everything they do. Yep, I'm going to let it resolve. Carney T. Okay. Carnage Tyrant's the one thing we can't deal with, but hopefully they just have something. Shieldred. Actually, does this not target the Carnage Tyrant? I don't think we want to. I think we want to steal the shoulder, obviously, but. I think we won.
You've never seen a Eureka workout well for the caster? I've had mostly good Eurekas, so. <clears throat> Suck on them eggs. We know they have one card and it's a Liliana, huh? Well, that's cool. Mm hmm. Chili's baby back of ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Swamp walk as well. I'll just draw a card here. I ain't greedy. Oh, well then. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Jeez, I can't even handle this, dude. Bounce you. Attack with you. Yeah, you're dead. Two lands. Sack your Carnage Tyrant. You will have five mana to play Liliana. We will counter the Liliana. And our deck is good. Yeah, we could have probably stolen Carnage Tyrant, but what's the point? Like, well, then we just have to sacrifice it to their Shieldred. That seems absolutely terrible. I understand that we can do it. It's just not correct. <sighs> hmm. I'll keep this hand. Okay, sounds good. Just making sure. Alright, I kind of want to draw a land here. Because <laughs> Dak Fade and Stealing the Golgari Signet is good. Just play like a 2-2 two -two or something. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I have yet to play against Storm in the cube, I believe. Land one time. Don't do me like this. Oh, crying out loud. That's so bad. Did I just get Eureka again? That'd be hilarious. Survival of the fittest. That's very good. That's a dude. Can I steal that dude? Okay. Man, can you imagine if we threw Kiki Jiki in the garbage can instead of... Wow. Yep, that's good. That's a good amount of cards. Shielder down the tubes. I mean, if we hit a land here, we can tap this dude down.
did not draw land, and that is the end of the game. All right, well. That was amazing. <laughs> Amazingly bad. Yeah. All right. keep seems good yeah shackles not great that actually could have been a cut i agree with you i think we're good playing brawl here i don't think we have to wait I have a good feeling about the second. I have a good feeling about this. Yeah, that's fine. We couldn't have spell pierced that anyway, so I'm okay with it. I really hope they exhume. I'm also going to play a PNL. Eh, maybe I don't. The problem is if they go discard reanimate, it's really bad. Okay, we're looking good. Looking. Come on, just be exhum. Just be exhum. I kind of wanted to tap out to encourage it. Yep, that would have been good to spell Pierce. Yep, that's fine. It does nothing here. It does. It does do something. It blocks this and it uh, puts some pressure on the board. So, well, I appreciate your input. I don't think it's true. <whistles> like you hit a land drop. Why would you draw seven on your turn? So you just have to discard. That's weird. We also wanted to encourage them to exhume. If we ha if they had reanimate, uh, they can play around it. If they so like the only thing we're not playing around is like animate dead and necromancy, which we didn't see and we did see exhum. So Fascinating. Can't really do anything here, unfortunately. 17 lands. Miss a land drop.
You got it. Well, they're not exhuming now, so I guess this is actually fine. Tap this idiot. Come at me, bro. Pretty sure we have to DAC here and just draw cards. We have Deceiver Exarch on board. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. That's incredible. Three lands in the top 13 cards of our deck. Temple Scribe on him. Have a good night, buddy. Yep. Jace is pretty good to bounce this Gristle Brand. One, two, three, four, five, six. In a perfect world, they exhume. I don't think they're exhuming here. So you're going to five? Assassin's Trophy that. All right. Is this real? So if we hit another land, we can keep up Spell Pierce and Jace bounce their Gristle Brand? No way is this real. <laughs> Dead sites, really appreciate it, buddy. Well, kind of just want to say I dropped my sub. I'm trying to get into this Twitch thing. I'm probably doing it wrong, but it's been a trip. You guys are awesome. Frank, you're awesome. I'll catch you on these YouTube. I'll check back later and see if stuff. Dead sites, really appreciate the effort, man. Thank you so much. Actual better. I didn't know I was lonely till I saw your Jace. I want to get better. I guess we're just discarding Phoenix here. Just 
So, I like holding Venser 2 here. Reanimates in the graveyard. Cobblink. They only have six mana, so if they play Exhume, they could just card cast Shieldred. They might be they search for Shieldred. Which is fine, because then they, we kill them, right? Like we bounce, we sacrifice Baral, we bounce them with Jace, then we attack for a million. Thankfully, we did not return the Necromancy. Otherwise, they would just be able to recast Necromancy, which is no, no bueno. I want to get better. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. You have a lot of things you can do. Is Shield Red one of them? No. It looks like a five mana thing. Six, six mana thing. Grave Titan. Busted. Wish it was Shieldred. They're at four. Nope, don't like that. God. Like, this is just has to be a Jace the Mind Sculptor hand turn. We can bounce this, but it doesn't do anything. We attack with everything, they go to one. We have to just draw three here. Yeah, Rekindling Phoenix. Would have been hot there. I agree with you. Um, well, we don't get to do anything here. This is comical. Um, yeah, this is rough. Incinerate does cost one, but that just puts them to one, so. We'll keep it. We'll put Spell Pierce in disallow back play the land for the turn I mean if they attack with the grave titan and both zombies we can let Jace go to one block one zombie and chump with the grave chump the grave titan with something so that we still get to keep two guys alive hmm. and if they if they end up going face we're just gonna oh sure Well, we probably couldn't send the team and burn them. You're just hard casting this. Yep, that's good. 
That's very good. I mean, they get to, they get to do our turn and then we get a turn, so I don't think that's actually. There's no way they can get rid of our Jace here. It's not terrible. They can't get rid of our Jace. They can bounce like something, but it doesn't really do much. They can play Kiki Jiki and just suicide it into something, which is probably going to be the end of the turn. Uh, we do have a Chain Lightning. So we know the top cards are Spell Pierce and two other cards. So I really don't think they want to brainstorm. I don't know if brainstorming is the best option. Yeah, they're probably just going to play Kiki Jiki Suicided into, like a, into the Emrakul, I imagine. They're probably just going to eat our board. They probably just go Kiki Jiki, PNLR, Burrall, block, block, block. You think the stream decker is wrong? I mean, stream decker says constructed decks. We're not playing constructed. So. Yep. So we're going to see four cards. We know one of them is a spell pierce. They're probably going to fate seal us. Leave the spell pierce on top. Yep. Put a card on the top. Sure. Draw the card. Chain lightning one time. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that was a fun round. Cut them to one. Okay. Seems good. I hate that Stream Decker exists. Why? This is very weird. I could catch some of the stream. I'm watching a lot of the easy vids. Love a little Vintage Cube. I wish I had the money to draft some myself. Me too. Except. Oh, the game's on Twitch. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I didn't even see it. Really appreciate it. Yep. Just going to wait until the mouse works again. I will play first. Tanos, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. This hand is gas. Yep, it's doing good. Doing good, Mouse. Doing good. How long is holiday? Keep going until January 19th. So, quite a while. Any lands and we're just like snapping them off. I'm going to bottom both of these. Yep, that's worse. Can you imagine if I kept either one of those and I just didn't hit a second land drop or a third land drop rather oh they're just gonna just gonna go immediately to the discard step very aggressive Thanos sounds good buddy I am game Is this real life? This is where they go Mox Jet reanimate, right? No. All right, well, we're hitting.
Well, in a perfect world, no one's going to tell you your stream decker is wrong while you're streaming modern or uh, in a legacy or vintage cube, rather. I mean, we could hope that we get a, a land and we're able to just steal the shieldred, but it's not really. <laughs> uh, yep. Let's go search for a thing. Um, we could just get Kikijiki and hope that we our, our, our guys survive. Yeah, I like Kikijiki here, especially because we do have Chandra for the mana. Fine, keep your secrets. <laughs> That's a solid meme. Bitter Blossom. Sure. Oh no! One down. So one, two, three, four, five. We almost have enough. Isn't that nice? Isn't that special? One, two, three, four, five. The mirror breaker himself. Copy this dude. This was a little dangerous, but we could we could act like we got counterspell. I can get the super exarch, sure. Also, Chandra is uh, at six, which is pretty, pretty, pretty dangerous for them. I think we have a lot of things that we could do here. We're also kind of representing Counterspell here, which is pretty nice. This was a bold strategy. I agree with you. Him to Torok. You can him to Torok me. They always have it. Collective brutality. Kill this guy. And I get to reveal my hand. So if I kill your one attacker here. Well, then I have nothing you can hit. Kikijiki dies, which is fine. That is correct. They have to try and kill it whether or not they think you have counter magic. But no, we do actually have counter magic. Um. God, this mouse is actually driving me utterly insane. It's not even a reasonable thing to... Like, this is just ridiculous. So we're going to add four here. We're going to keep up to see Rex Arc and Spell Pierce. Because I want to be able to ultimate this Chandra next turn, which would be insane. And if we hit a land... We get to do it all. Chain lightning. Let's just use that on this dude. So that it can't attack. I like it. So now we have a Chandra that's going to ultimate. And then we get to cast lots and lots of spells. Can you return it? No, it's a little past the return period. I think it's about six months old now. This was also... Um,
Good game. That'll do, pig. Chandra, almost ultimated, in a vintage cube draft. Felt like Dock and Shackles seems not bueno. Hmm. Just put him ponder, I guess. Sweet brag, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, this seems good. Well, now I can just hard cast days, which is my favorite thing ever. Oh, they missed the land drop? Well, all right. Sweet brag, eight months in a row. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Preach. Do you prefer Gotham's in the morning or in the evening? Gotham's should be a mess. <laughs> Gotham's. Um, that's probably going to be a breakfast cereal, I imagine. Always with the Kiki Jikis. Duress. I mean, I have no reason not to do this because we don't have anything else in the hand that Duress even hits, so... When barrels on a bagel, you can have Gotham's anytime. Well, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure we're just Kiki Jiki, because even if they kill it, like we're still very, very far ahead. Opponent pays for days, you nothing in hand. Are you killing this guy in response? Are you dismembering? Yeah, you gotta target Kiki Jiki. Even though I get a free card out of this. Let's get a Venser. Frost Titan next turn seems pretty good. Oh, that's fascinating, especially since I'll keep it tapped down for the rest of your life.
Fascinating. We can also go Chandra Venser. I think we're just going to be more aggressive here. Like, Venser is amazing because even if they play like a shoulder, we can easily sack an Imperial Recruiter, get back, uh, tap down, whatever. Also, if you guys haven't done so, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can get 15% off with free shipping and free returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And if you're going to want to support the stream, or if, yeah, I was going to say, if you're going to need those things anyway, like underwear, socks, anything like that, it's it's super soft micromodal uh, cotton. It's it's amazingly comfortable. So be sure to check that out. If you're looking for that kind of stuff anyway, it's a great way to support the stream. And uh, feel free to check me out on Twitch and on Patreon. Links are in the description below. It's Even if you don't watch on Twitch regularly, you can head on over to Twitch and give me a sub or whatever. Super, super good way to support the channel. And I uh, really appreciate that. Also, you can check out Aaron Kane Deck Boxes. His link is in the description below. You will get 10% off with promo code Frank, and uh, his stuff is amazing. So even if you don't buy anything, just definitely check it out just to see what kind of like amazing craftsmanship is present in his stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will check you out next time.